So here it is guys, the KO K2 230. We're ready to take this puppy out there onto the trail. It's gonna be a good time. So let's get started. First thing, stepping on this bike, this is an air-cooled electric start motor. Alright guys, here we go, leaving out of the shop on the K2 230. I do have to say that the muffler that they put on these machines sounds really good. It's throaty. It's deep, it's got some sound to it, and I think that there is our fifth gear. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth gear, guys. So this bike, I think, would be the ultimate back of your RV bike. As far as actual positioning on the motorcycle, it's a smaller framed motorcycle than the full-size 250s. Let's go check this place out over here real quick. There's some like large river rock type rocks. Oh yeah. right here so this 230 is a lot more barky than I would have imagined it be firing up at the shop The KO K2 230 could definitely be the best entry-level dirt bike ever made. Is that an alligator? No, just kidding. There's no alligators out here. I mean, it's true. It's an air-cooled, four-stroke, reliable engine. It's delivering great power. It's very useful power. five-seat transmission that lets you take advantage of the wide open torque that this bike has to offer. They say that this bike is suspended. <laughs> they say this bike's suspension is tuned to the sturdy frame and yields a dirt bike that's ready to hit the trails. I can tell you the suspension is stiff. Um, I have bought them out a couple times, but it's doing a really good job. Again, I'm not your typical rider. Now the best part about this bike is if your kid is big enough to fit on it, it's not going to be crazy for them. They're not going to get out of control. This is the perfect bike for every member of the family.
Check it out, the KO K2 230. This is supposed to be a super mild-mannered trail bike, but I gotta say, this thing's got quite a bit of bark. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up for you. That's right. This guy's gonna be one of the least expensive four-stroke motorcycles that you could purchase for dirt bike riding out here. If your kid has a little pit bike and you wanna chase him around, this bike right here is the money. It actually goes really good, top speed of 50 miles an hour. Suspension works pretty good. This thing's a lot of fun and it comes in at less than $3,000. KO K2 All right, guys, so I've been out here about an hour on this 230. I've taken it through some two tracks, some single track, down to some sand, <laughs> over some gnarly rocks out here in the desert. And I thought this was going to be a super mild-mannered trail bike. Uh, and while it is a trail bike, and while it is inexpensive, I'm really impressed with how well the suspension is holding up. I mean, I've owned a Chinese knockoff 250 before, and it was a big pile of junk but this guy right here man it's quality suspension obviously it's not super plush but it's just fine for being out here doing what we're doing today just hammering some trails and having some fun i think if you're looking for a couple motorcycles for the family or there's a jump ready <laughs> let's just find a way to get that on video All right, now that we're not all bouncing around. So I really think if you're looking for a companion motorcycle, if you're looking for, oh, uh, what, shut down. If you're looking for a companion motorcycle, if you're looking for a bike to ride around in the desert or out at the dunes or around the trails or campsite while your kid's riding around on their pit bike, the medium sized frame of this motorcycle makes it perfect for that type of riding it's not huge it's smaller than a traditional 250 frame and uh yeah it's a lot of fun again i've been out here about an hour today just ripping around out here in the desert we've had it through all kinds of terrain we've had it through sand and through rocks and through some whoops and some uh sharp drop off sections it's been all over the place and uh honestly it'd be fun to take this to a uh <laughs> Japanese and European shootout where everyone's gonna laugh at you when you pull up in the parking lot on this thing. There's no place that this thing couldn't go. It does have a top speed of 50 miles an hour, which would be a little bit slow when chasing down some of those guys. Now, if you need to go faster, there's the K4 250, which we're about ready to go jump on right now. There's also the K6 EFI, and then later today, if you're looking for some two-stroke fun out there, we're gonna jump on the KT 250, which is KO's two-stroke version. There we go. Let's wind it out. That's it. That was that fifth gear that we get topped out at. We're seeing between 45 and 50 miles as our top speed on this thing. You hear that muffler though? The bark that this bike has for being a 230 right out of the box, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I really like the fact that the choke lever is up here on the handlebar and not underneath where the carb is. The next two motorcycles we're going to ride, that choke button is up underneath and it's kind of a pain in the butt. That's some old school technology there. As far as seat comfort goes, the seat comfort is nice. I've been sitting kind of mid-seat. Um, I do find as I move back in the seat, it gets a little bit bony back there. I feel more of the uh, uh, frame of the motorcycle instead of the actual seat. Anyway, we're back at Moto City. Time to jump on the next motorcycle. Take it for a rip so I can then come back and give you guys my synopsis or my wrap up on the differences between each of these neat machines from KO.